Most hobby chargers are like the one we recommend, which I'm using here. It comes with a lead like this. Tape up the two crop clips so they can't short. I prefer to use a dedicated XT60 charge cable, so we'll stick with that for now. Some have a balance connector that plugs directly in it's for three to two to six cells. Others have the balance connectors built into the side of them. Plug that in. You need a power supply as well for a hobby charger, like this one. Plug them in. Grab your main supply, plug that in. Best to connect the XT60 charger plug, banana plugs first. Power on. Get your battery. You want to find the three cell plug socket, shouldn't fit in any of the others. Plug it in. Plug the main power in, should only fit one way. Make sure you're on a non flammable surface. Always watch the charger when it's charging or at least be in the same room and attentive to what state it's in and ideally keep some sort of fire extinguisher nearby. So in the main menu, back goes back out of the menu or stops the charging, um, the start button goes through it and the two middle buttons scroll, most chargers are like that. In the main menu, select LiPo Bat, on this one for some reason you can only go backwards. LiPo bat, start. Okay, don't want LiPo charge, select LiPo balance, hit enter once or start. Scroll through and find, get to one amp, we'll charge at one amp for now. Hit start again, select 11 volts, you may have to change it, three cells. Press and hold the start button, it checks the battery. Look for 3SER and 3SER, that's checking the, the voltage in the cells against your selection. If it's both 3SER, confirm by pressing the start button again, and it begins charging. This cell's almost charged already, so it won't take long to top that up. 12.6 volts is the finish, vol finish voltage for a 3-cell battery. Once it's done, it'll display full here, where it now says balance. And it will give it will make an alert set of beeps to let you know it's done. When that's done, you can press stop. It will confirm that return to this screen. Just unplug everything 